Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, intuitive messenger, and author. And this is the August 2024 reading for Life Path 8. This is the August 2024 numerology reading and energy forecast for Life Path 8. So welcome, Life Path 8. I'm very happy you're here. So before we begin, Spirit asked me to share with you a couple of little notes and tips. The first being is that Spirit is encouraging everyone to begin to pull their own cards, begin to connect with their own intuition and, into, and inner wisdom, and, you know, to begin to cultivate that process and strengthen that connection. It's so nothing wrong with listening to videos and hearing other people's perspectives and what they have to say about anything, but Spirit wants us to also begin to become more dependent on ourselves as the first stop for our inner wisdom. And the other thing Spirit wanted to mention was that when it comes to receiving information, just don't take it in passively and then hop to the next thing, the next video, the whatever. This is slow down and really take in the information you're receiving, write it down in your journal, your phone, whatever the case may be, and then use that information and see how, and use it in an active way and see how you can attune to it so you can so it can, you know, help you out in your life and not just to just be passively ingesting things because the information spirits bringing forth is definitely saying now that we have to become more engaged in our own process and we have to be um more active in what we're doing you know pulling cards for ourselves taking notes paying attention to the signs and symbols we receive in our own lives about the guidance from spirit when you listen to other people who do pull who do these type of things I'll make these type of videos, see what you're taking away with it and see what you can actually utilize in your own life to enhance things for you and to bring you in greater attunement with yourself and the spiritual realms. Okay. And the third thing is that Spirit has guided for me to use uh, new decks today. And so I'm going to be using the Sacred Sheet Tarot, which I typically don't read from. And then I'm going to be using the Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle, a wonderful book, a wonderful cards and book by Amanda Ellis. So that's this. So, okay, so now we're going to get started. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Okay, so, oh, the other thing is that I'm not going to be doing any challenge, even though I'm still doing my typical five card spread, I'm not going to be doing a challenge card. Spirit said not to do that. So this is, well, all the cards will be at the themes and the energies for your month. Okay, so the first card we have is Refresh. Very pretty. Mm. Mm. And eights work really hard, so I can see why why the theme of refreshment would come would come up. Very pretty, and she did so. She did such interesting things here with the images. You have an older face, and then you have the younger face in between. Okay, so we have refresh. That's like um, all of her cards are not direct correspondences with the Rider Waite deck. Because this is be the three of wands and in the in the rider weight direct rider rider weight deck. And that is the three of wands is um kind of like your ships coming in. It's the three wands and the person's looking out to sea and the ships are coming towards them. So this is not exactly the same. So this is saying refresh. So we'll get to what that means. It means something different, slightly different here in this deck. Then we have the second card, liberation. This would be the judgment card in the tarot deck. So there's some refresh. We have refresh, we have liberation, we have union. This is the second time this card has come up in the spreads for August. Union. We have spontaneity. Mm, very pretty. Very pretty. Also oh, interesting. So in this card, this this 13 is the queen of wands. Okay. And then, so I'm getting there's going to be a lot of, and August is such a hot month. So there's definitely going to be some heat for the month. Um, this is the queen of wands. And in this card, she's pregnant. She has a leopard next to her. And she has some type of mask, some type of bird mask. Okay, we have that. And then we have honesty. Honesty, honesty, honesty. And that's a two. Excuse me, that's an 11. Honesty. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so the first thing I'm first thing I'm sensing and feeling into you for life path for you life path eight is that August 2024 is definitely going to be a hotter month for you. 
there's going to be some fire, possibly some passion. It's just going to be uh, an energetically intense month, but not bad, right? Not bad, but just there's going to be a lot of energy and there's just going to be a lot of things reverberating or, uh, around, inside of you and around you. Hmm. And I feel like definitely with the spontaneity card, you're actually being called on to be more spontaneous. And as I'm talking to you, my own, I am also starting to feel warm. So I feel like that spirit bringing in the energy to kind of reflect the heat that you're going to also be feeling that month. It's going to be a hot month. You're going to be feeling hot energetically. Um, oh, depending on where you watch this, it's going to be hot in North America. Um, but um uh, it's going to, and you're going to be, you know, you're going to be having a lot of that fire energy around you. So spirit, what would you like to say about the third, well, um, the refresh card? Yeah, so spirit is saying this is going to be a, a, a season of um, refreshment for you and also rebirth. And so what I'd like to say about that is that the eight in the numerology is a very, very hardworking card. I have several eights. In my chart, I have, I wear my eight necklace all the time, which I love. It's, it has three eights here. I can get you to see it. It's a necklace that has three eights. And so eight is an extremely hard working card. It is, it is a card of, you know, they love to get things done. They're great builders. They can be very focused. They can just like hone in on something and they can just, you know, make things happen. Eights are very much like you will not outwork an eight in numerology because they can just go and go and go and go and they are you know they are builders and so they make things happen they manifest things but they manifest things through their hard work it is not a magical number in that um the eights are very practical so things don't just fall from the sky it's all about their hard work and their effort but spirit is saying for you life path eight this is going to be a time for you to really refresh yourself and kind of be in a spirit of rebirth. So maybe a project you've done, um, something you've been working on a really, really, really long time has kind of come to fruition or you've reached a state of completion about it. And now spirit is saying, okay, so now you need to be rebirthed and now you need to be refreshed. And you kind of have to be, what word would you use spirit? Spirit is saying you have to be recalibrated in a certain way to kind of begin to attune yourself to different energies because, but that attunement can only happen if you take a step back and you, you know, kind of refresh yourself. Um, that could be calling for more rest. That could be going on a vacation. That could be just maybe like really taking care of yourself after a really long period of hard work and concentration and focus. So spirit wants you to begin to refresh yourself. And the next card we have is judgment. And excuse me, liberate, it's called liberation in this deck, but it's the judgment card in the tarot. And so you see this is, this is called liberation. And so maybe after your period of hard work, life path eight, you're going to be feeling more liberated. You're going to be feeling more at peace that finally you can soar in the direction of your dreams because this is the card. This is a major arcana card and this is the only major arcana you have. So this is saying this is a very strong theme for you, life path eight. You can finally soar. You can finally spread your wings that whatever this thing is that you've worked so hard on, that you've brought to a, set, a state of completion, it could be experience. Well, I was going to say maybe experiences, but you don't have another major arcana, but that it may not mean anything. That's neither here, here nor there. It's depending on what's happening in your life, but it could be something you're bringing to a state of completion and that now you feel like you can soar. Now you feel like you can be liberated and maybe whatever this thing was that you were working on or finally trying to bring to a state of completion, you can feel like you're free now. You know, you can be, you can, you're free now, you can soar and you can go to new heights. And then because see here, the little figure has wings and a heart. So this is definitely encouraging you, Life Path 8, to take a path where you feel lighter, where you feel brighter, and you can just be, you know, more of who you are. And just kind of whatever it is, this, this thing is that you were doing that you wanted to do because, you know, you're a worker, 
that, but it's still, it, that still takes a lot of effort and energy and could even have felt burdensome for you. Even though I don't have the burden card here, I'm attuning into me because I know, excuse me, I know when you're a life path eight, we put a lot of a pressure on ourselves and we can be very, very intense. And so spirit is saying, especially here with the wings, that they want you to feel lighter and they want you to move in a lighter way. And this is a major theme. This is, so this is a this is a major theme for you, Life Path 8, because um, this is a major arcana card. So spirit wants you to feel lighter and move in a lighter way. And it's kind of like free yourself of your burdens. And again, I keep on seeing the word recalibrate. So spirit wants you to do a recalibration and a resetting of certain things in whatever ways that shows up in your life. So hope that makes sense. And so at the center of the reading, we have the union card. And so in the uh, Rider Waite, this would be the Two of Cups, right? Yes, this would be the Two of Cups. And so the Two of Cups is about collaboration. But in this card, it's not only about material collaborations. It's about an emotional collaboration. And so honestly, for you, Life Path 8, I feel like this is about you bringing your... Um, your two sides together, that can be the masculine, the feminine, the yin and the yang, or bringing yourself back into balance so there's more, so that you feel more of a union inside of yourself. It definitely could, it definitely could pertain to, you know, some outside elements or something you may have going on personally, but this is about emotions, about bringing your emotions together. It's about bringing your emotions together and whatever, what in whatever ways that show up for you. And also, I was doing another reading. I can't remember which one it was. I think it may have been one or two. And they had like their whole spread was like each picture literally out of like four cards, out of five cards, the four cards had rainbows. Out of five cards, four cards had some type of rainbow or color element in it. And then when we pulled the Oracle card, that card had some type of color and element, element too. And so when I looked up rainbows, it was about rebirth. So think about what I'm saying. So if we have refresh here, and I, the message I received from Spirit for you, Life Path 8, is that this is about your rebirth and your refresh, you you becoming anew, freshening yourself. And then we, hit, we have this union card, but also I'm focusing in on the rainbow. And rainbows also are about hope and transformation and things starting again. And so you're definitely being called on to start something to, you know, recalibrate yourself, reorient yourself emotionally so that you can have a new experience. And so then the next card we have here is this beautiful figure and she's the representative of the Queen of Wands in the Rider Waite Tarot. And so with the Queen of Wands, she has mastered her elements. She is a master of her element. And you see she's standing here beautifully pregnant, vibrant, full of life, but look at the colors, look how vibrant that red is. And so she's able to handle all of the fire and all the passion. And so that would make sense, right? So your life path eight, to, to do and create and move the way life path eights do, they have to have a lot of energy and they have to have a lot of fire and they have to have a lot of determination and they have to have a lot of focus. That would very much be queen of wands energy, right? And so Spirit is saying here um, that this is the energy, the heat that you've had around you for a very, very long time. But Spirit is also calling to mind, like this card says spontaneity. And so you're being called to have maybe some more um, spontaneous experiences. But since this is the Queen of Wands, there, the spontaneity is handled in a very mature way. It's a, it's um, the, the spontaneity is handled in a very mature way because you have the the wisdom to do things that are spontaneous, but also beneficial to you. Like this is not a reckless person. If she is going to do something spontaneous, it's going to make sense and she's going to be able to handle it. She doesn't act with reckless. She's not like the Knight of Wands, right? She's the Queen of Wands. She's So if there's some spontaneous, something with sponta spontaneity happening for you, you can handle it in a very mature and wise way. Is there something else you'd like to say about spontaneity? 
Okay, so Spirit is saying there's going to be a lot of fire around you at this time, a lot of passion, a lot of energy. When I when Spirit says fire, they mean energy. And that, but you have the wisdom to handle it in a mature way. Because an eight is a very mature number as well. And it is, you're still going to be in the energy of recalibration and looking at things with foresight. And that is also something about the Queen of Wands. She looks at things with foresight. Again, she's the master of her element and she's able to handle things in a very, very mature way. And so again, it's going to be about energy of recalibration and moving in a way that shows groundedness and wisdom. And the next card we have, the last card we have here is an 11 and that's honesty. But true, but in true fashion, the 11 is also a two, right? Because one and one is two. So you have two cards that, that add up to the number two. And two, again, are about um, balance. So we're saying about honesty. Spirit, what would you like to say about honesty? Okay, Spirit is saying that you're having, you're stepping into a new season where you're going to be more honest and you're going to be more um, open about the things in your life. Okay, so because this card would be the, in the Rider Waite, this card would be the page, right? So this would be the page. This would be the page of pentacles. Okay, so you're going to be, be being more honest and more transparent about certain things in your life. So pages in the Rider Waite deck are about... Um, some people say they're about messages, but when I read the page and it's you know, my own interpretation of it, it's about stages of development. So, right. So we have the page, we have the knight, we have the queen, we have the king. And so to me, this is a maturity cycle, right? And so you already have someone who's very, very mature here. And then you have this, this honesty card in the right away. It would be a page, but for you, it's more talking about a youthful honesty that maybe you will have more connection with because the pages are kind of young and they can you know they can approach and say things that are not in a very they don't they can approach and say things in a way that's not very jaded but it's kind of like just very open and honest and so maybe that's something that you're being encouraged to call into your life life path eight just a spirit of honesty and openness and that maybe this is a spirit of honesty and openness you were not previously um connected to Spirit, would you have to say anything else about? Did you want to say anything about the union card? Okay. Is there anything else about any of the other cards? Okay, so now we're going to go to the Archangel Metatron deck. Beautiful deck. Love this deck. Awesome, awesome, awesome energy and. And like this deck is like completely phenomenal, completely phenomenal. I love using this deck. Okay. So this is what the back looks like. Okay. And um, Amanda Ellis is on YouTube. Um, some of you may already know that or you may not be familiar with her. So she's on YouTube. Excellent spiritual teacher. Um, I like her. I enjoy her videos a lot. I don't watch all of them, but I watch a lot of them. Um, she's, you know, she really focuses on how we can remain heart centered on our journey. And for me, remaining heart centered on this journey means that we are very grounded in our physical experience and we acknowledge it, but we're actually trying to be in, increase our self awareness so that we can work with the things that are going on in the physical in a very balanced way so that we don't come out of our heart center. Not an easy job at all. It takes lots and lots of work, lots and lots of personal development, but it is possible. So I just want to give that, mention that deck and that if you want, ever want to watch any of her videos, Amanda Ellis, she is on YouTube. Um, so Spirit, Archangel Metatron, one card please for Life Path 8. One card please for Life Path 8. I'm 
I'm just trying to pull through life pathy. Okay. So what do we have here? Wake up call. Listen and take note. Okay, let's see what Archangel Metatron has to say about this. Okay. Ah, oh, interesting. So, okay, I'm pointing this out again. So you have two 11s here. We have two 11s here, um, Life Path 8. Excuse me. You have the 8, excuse me, you have the 11 from this deck. And you have an 11 here. So there's definitely going. It, there's definitely a lot of energy around balance for you. And that would make sense because there's also an energy of fire. And when there's a lot of energy of fire, it's very important to keep balance. And so... You definitely want to make sure that you have your balance of your masculine and feminine energies and your yin and your yang, you know, however you want to, you know, say, say that. It is very, very, very important that you are in balance. And so, and this is another card coming up, another 11. And also 11s have to do with intuition. And so that's another thing that, you know, just for you to keep in mind. So I don't know um, if maybe you're tapping into your intuition, connecting to your intuition, have been or are, are feeling the call more towards your intuition, which would make sense because we're all being called more to our intuition. And that's why spirit is telling us to pull our own cards and be more active with the information we're receiving because spirit wants us to connect to strengthen our internal connection with ourselves and our and um our higher self, however you want to call it, the spiritual realms, however you want to put it. Wake up call. Listen and take note. Card number 11 links to the planet Pluto and rebirth. It also relates to 1111 coded wake up call programmed. It also relates to the 1111 coded wake up call program to make us sit up and take notice of spirit. So I'm getting that you may be getting some spiritual messages. Okay. It is time to step into the deepest trust and heed the clarion call of the mighty Archangel Metatron. This call cannot be drowned out by feel, by fear or denial of that which is before you now. It is time to step into the deepest trust and heed this wake-up call, which may be spiritual in nature or affecting something very physical around you now. You have been aware for some time that something needed to change, something is coming, or that a situation can no longer carry on. So this is very much in alignment with your overall message, right? Life path eight, because I'm getting here with this refresh card that you need to have a rebirth and a recalibration and a reset from a situation that, or experience or whatever that's going on for you. That's been going on for a very, very long time. Your inner voice may have whispered, but Metatron now shouts the warning message loudly for you to hear. You may experience ringing your ears, popping of energy, or an unlocking of one or both of your ears as you hear Metatron's call to you. You may also see numbers, particularly the combination 1111, which are prompting you to see things in a new way, but also to let you know that Metatron is with you. He does so with love and urgency and as a warning that to carry on regardless, not heeding the advice and guidance carries consequences and if this calling is ignored your path will no longer be in alignment with your soul's true calling the call may be set against a backdrop of challenge you may feel the lightning strikes around you wondering how long you can stay out of the storm without getting more wounded than you already are you have wounds that are raw from having stayed too long tried too much and reached a dead end it is time for a different approach. This is nowhere, there is nowhere to go now except into surrender. That is, I feel like that's the theme of your reading, Life Path 8. So let me repeat that section. You have wounds that are raw from having stayed too long, tried too much, and reached a dead end. It is time for a different approach. There is nowhere to go now except into surrender. Mm -hmm. Archangel Metatron comes not to bring chaos or pain into your, into your world, 
but to correct imbalance. And remember, I've been talking a lot about balance. That's a lot about what's coming through in your reading life path eight is that you need balance. Trying to bring you back to yourself and open new doors where old ones have closed. You can ignore the call, carry on as before, but he will come back. And each time the call for change will be louder and still more insistent. Metatron never gives up on you, never abandons you, and always has your best interests at heart, as well as everyone else concerned in any event, situation, or relationship. The wake-up call signals the one way of doing life is now over. You need to prepare for the new, and it will be done for the highest good for you and anyone else involved. What seems difficult and at times impossible will be made easier for you. There is still a short time to prepare, to evaluate, to gather your strength, but the winds of change are here and the time is running out. Metatron reaches out his arms to help carry you with grace to the next stage of your journey. As the call by you is heeded, the skies lighten, the golden rays come back to you, and the light pierces the darkness to reveal a new vision, a new life, a new possibility. Wake-up calls can be both individual, affecting our day-to-day -day life, and collective, entwined with rising global consciousness. So that's beautiful. And so there we have it here, right? So that's, that's the book, the larger book image. And then here is the card. So it says here that you're giving, being given a wake-up call, Life Path 8, a wake-up call to recalibrate yourself, to attune yourself to new energies, and so that you can have, have a newer experience. And, newer, and especially with this liberation card, it's time to liberate yourself from some things that have previously gone on too long. And look how Archangel Metatron came through. That's what was coming up in the cards, and that's what's coming up um, here. And also what I'm just noticing, look at this life path eight. We have two cards that have wings. Two cards that have wings. You have this card and then you have this major arcana card that has wings. So that's no accident. You're, it's time for you to liberate yourself. Okay. So I feel like that was wonderful life path eight. I hope you were able to take in this message. Um, drop a message, uh, drop a comment below to let me know what you think, feel, how it resonated with you, what your thoughts are. I'd be happy to hear. And remember, anything that I say in these videos, go ahead and take notes. Be mindful. See how you can use it as part of your open, your spiritual opening and the new energies that are coming into your life. Don't just click off and go into something else and just go from video, 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 video to video, video. Don't be passive. Be active. Because we're be, we're in a, the whole planet is in an activation period at this time, and you need to activate your own internal energies and engage with it in a more active way. So, um, if you'd like a multi-dimensional healing session, I have my book is open for that. The information for multi-dimensional healing session is down below. If you um, want to explore and see what that is, or you can send me a message and ask more about it, I'm totally fine with that. Um, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm an intuitive messenger. And I'm an author, and I'm so happy that I've got to do this reading for you today, Life Path 8. Please take care of yourself. Have a blessed August, and I will see you next month. Peace.